Okay, this is the tutorial on how to make cool eye effects. There are lots of different ways, but I'm going to show you two. First of all, obviously you need to get a crystal picture. I've chosen this one because it's a clear picture, so it will be easy to edit. So copy and paste your picture into Photoshop. Now, most of you have seen the YouTube videos um, that use the polygonal lasso to, to select this part of the eye and then use the hue saturation panel. That's a very destructive way of doing things because it's very hard if you wanted to change the colour scheme that you're working with or if you want to if you made a mistake or anything like that, it's very hard to edit it. But if you do it the way that I'm about to show you, it's um, non-destructive, so it's easier to change if you want to. So first of all, you need to make a new layer, either by clicking on the new layer icon or pressing Control Shift N, and then we're going to go around the eye. It, uh, it doesn't have to be very good because we will edit that later. So just roughly go around the edges. There we go. Now choose your colours, your foreground and background. I've chosen purple and blue. And then click on your gradient tool. And then you press this little icon here, the radial gradient. And then hold down your mouse and press shift at the same time. And it'll make a nice straight line to make sure that your gradient is in the right place. Like that. Now this is the most important part. You need to change your layer mode. Your, your layer modes are found here, so it's a big list here. And it can do so much to create so many different and everything. Um, it's best just to try each one out and explore it when you're starting with Photoshop and then eventually you'll learn which one to use where. So if we just scroll through, we obviously wouldn't use some of them. I mean that one's quite a nice one, that's colour. Scroll through them, that's pretty. Um, I think I'm going to go with overlay, but you can check all the other ones out later. It is a bit strong, so I'm going to change the opacity layer, the opacity of the layer, down just a bit so it's not too big. Now, that's quite nice, but you want to add an extra effect. So, what I normally do is search for a texture. Um, Right now I'm thinking probably a space texture would be quite nice. So if you search for a space texture, I've chosen this one. Copy it into your document. Obviously it's a bit big so we will need to size it down. Um, you can do that by pressing Ctrl T and then you'll get these markers up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if you go back to the layer um, where we did gradient, if you press control while clicking on the layer thumbnail, it will select that around the gradient that we made. And then if we click back on our space layer, use the rectangular marquee tool right click it, click select inverse and it selects the rest of the area so that you don't have to go around the eye with a polygon or lasso tool like last time. So go out a bit. Now again you use the layer modes and you can choose which one you want. Scroll through them. I mean that can be quite nice. That one's nice as well. So it basically just depends on what effect you're trying to make. Um, I think I will go with this one. 
can change the opacity. So that is quite nice. Um, that's basically it. You, it just depends on what textures you use. You can go wild with it. Um, like this to me kind of looks like an alien eye. So maybe I'd go in and make a new layer over the original eye picture and use the purple colour. Use the bucket tool, which is here. Fill that in and then change the layer mode to colour and it makes a sort of changes the skin tone to a sort of purple colour so you can create an alien effect it's really up to you um, you can create so many different things it's the most important part is the layer mode to be honest um, like I created this fire one just really depends what you're trying to make Thank you for watching.